who has Twitch adding a pay to win feature on their website on their 2021 bingo card? You know, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we have a brand new, you know, I, I at some point, I wish I could just I bring you guys good news. As it stands, I, I guess that's probably not happening anytime soon. But welcome back. Today we have more genius ideas from corporations that are seemingly really out of touch or really in touch. I'm, I'm not even sure anymore, you know what I mean? Rolling out of Twitch's workshop is an idea that is a, just a slap to the face to like any content creator in the last five years who's had to ban one of those bots that's like, you, you know which ones I'm talking about. You wanna be famous like Ninja? Then just come subscribe at this website and get follows, views, and bots at you're an idiot if you trust this link.com. But what am I talking about? Well, let me paint you a picture. Let's say, you're a viewer and you you log on to twitch.tv and you find your favorite streamer aquafina twitch.tv slash aquafina and you're just itching to support them but you're asking yourself how do i do this i'm already a sub oh well i know i will gift subs in their channel oh yes i'm gonna gift some subs and i'm really i'm 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 gonna i'm gonna help them out and then you give some subs and then, well, you, you're you a loyal viewer, so you sit down and you ask yourself again, well, I get to some subs. Well, what else can I do? Oh, I know. I'll put some money right in their pocket. You're, you're very generous, okay? So in addition to gifting subs, now you're also giving bits and, and you're even giving them donations, tips, whatever they want to call it. Now you get it. Now you're really, really supporting that channel. Well, short of buying their merch and gifting more subs and giving them more money, well, what what else can I do? You could spread their name through word of mouth. Ooh, that's, that's a good one. But a little time consuming. You're gonna have to talk to everyone. Talk to every person you see. Mom, grandma, sister, cousin, uncle, great grandma. Get to Twitch TV, okay? Go support my favorite streamer, Aquafina. <laughs> Gotta give, go give him some, go give him some bits donos. But, like I said, that takes way too much time, you know? Then you actually have to go outside into the world and talk to people, and who the hell wants to do that? But then you remember, Twitch just added a boosting feature. If you're wondering what that is, it's a feature that is currently in testing on Twitch that will allow viewers to pay to boost their stream to more people. It's essentially putting the streamer in front of more eyes. And all you have to do is use this feature on Twitch and pay your hard earned money. Does that sound good to you? Don't think about it too hard, okay? This is a terrible idea. On paper, it sounds like it should work and it should be good. Like all I have to do is support them and they're gonna get put in front of more eyes. They're gonna get more viewers and I'm really gonna be supporting my favorite streamer this way. But what I see is Twitch essentially putting up a paywall to success. Boosting sites have existed since the dawn of Twitch and all of those websites have one thing in common. They're all pretty scammy. The, the views that you're getting are usually bots. And once you stop paying for the service, not only do your views go away, but because you've decided to pay for views instead of working on content to retain your viewership, once you stop, the views stop too. This is a bit worse because at least on those websites, you'd be guaranteed a certain amount of viewership. All that this is guaranteeing is impressions. Basically, you're getting on people's recommended feed and relying on this idea that people will click on you from the recommended feed and go to your channel. You're paying for a chance to be in front of a lot of people, but you're not guaranteeing anything for the streamer. In fact, Twitch is taking all of the money. You're not getting guaranteed anything. You're not supporting the streamer monetarily. What you're doing is paying for advertisement. And as everyone knows, Twitch's discoverability options aren't very good. You could find a million different videos about Twitch's discoverability on YouTube. So I'm not even gonna cover that. You guys can go look that up for yourself. Just go Google Twitch discoverability or whatever. And just to drive my point home, uh, let me ask you guys a question, the audience. When was the last time that you went to go watch a stream based off your recommendations? The answer's probably never. Most people who go to Twitch already know what direction they're going. They know who they wanna watch 
And a lot of the time, the reason being is because their favorite content creators are probably uploading to other social media platforms. As, as of this moment, again, Twitch's discoverability is just really not up to snuff compared to platforms like TikTok, where literally everybody knows that the algorithm is pushing content. So let's call a spade a spade. If Twitch wanted to work on the discoverability features, they would have already done something with VODs. Despite being a live streaming site, in order to make your VODs or videos that you can upload, and you can upload videos to Twitch, is just not a very widely used feature. But if Twitch wanted to work on discoverability the way that YouTube has discoverability, for example, they would have worked on something with VODs as opposed to having some pay to win style gimmick. My main criticism of this is that it incentivizes laziness where instead of working on content to get in front of a lot of people or in order to be discovered by your by your content alone you're basically asking people to pay to get more views and those kinds of systems sway heavily in favor towards the streamers that are already larger i don't want to rant and actually before making this video i was watching some devin nash and he covered this in detail so i will leave a link to his video in the description below but honestly i want to know what y'all think do you think that this is a good feature i really don't think it is but with that being said i'll, I'll leave it in your hands and i'll see you guys in the next video peace